Have you ever wondered what it's like to catch a glimpse of a planet that most people have never seen with their own eyes? Picture this. It's a cool September morning, the kind where the air feels fresh and the world is still wrapped in the last shadows of night. The sky is a deep indigo and there's a calmness, a sense of expectation as if the earth itself is holding its breath. You turn your eyes to the eastern horizon and there it is a small but dazzling point of light just above the skyline. This isn't a star but Mercury, the smallest and one of the most elusive planets in our solar system, making a rare and spectacular appearance. On September 5th, 2024, Mercury reaches a significant point known as its greatest western elongation. This is when Mercury is farthest from the Sun in the morning sky from our vantage point on Earth, providing an ideal opportunity for viewing. Unlike its usual position, hidden within the sun's glare, this alignment allows Mercury to shine brightly in the pre-dawn sky. At 18 degrees away from the sun, Mercury becomes visible to the naked eye, glowing at a magnitude of minus 0.2 and climbing up to about 17 degrees above the horizon before the morning light overwhelms its view. Observing Mercury during its greatest western elongation can be more than just a scientific endeavor it can also be a moment of spiritual reflection and personal introspection. Throughout history, Mercury has been imbued with symbolic meaning, often associated with the mind, communication and quicksilver-like change. In astrology, Mercury governs intellect, reasoning and the way we express ourselves, influencing how we think and communicate. This makes the planet's visibility a powerful time to consider these aspects of our lives, to reflect on how we communicate with others and how we interpret the world around us. During Mercury's greatest western elongation, when the planet reaches its furthest point from the sun in the morning sky, it presents an opportunity to align ourselves with its energies. The early morning hours just before sunrise have long been considered a sacred time for reflection and meditation. As the world begins to awaken, Observing Mercury can be a reminder to check in with our inner selves, to consider the clarity of our thoughts and the direction of our intentions. It's a moment to ask ourselves, are we communicating clearly, not just with others, but also with ourselves? Are we open to new ideas and perspectives, or are we stuck in old patterns of thinking? Engaging in a simple meditation or journaling practice during this time can be especially meaningful. Before heading out to observe the planet, consider setting an intention or asking a question that you want to contemplate. As you gaze at Mercury, let your mind wander over these thoughts, allowing the stillness of the early morning to provide a backdrop for inner exploration. The fleeting nature of Mercury's appearance, a brief but brilliant point of light in the dawning sky, can also serve as a metaphor for the importance of being present and appreciating the moment. Furthermore, the mythology surrounding Mercury can offer deeper insights. In various cultures, Mercury was considered a messenger of the gods, a bridge between the divine and the mortal. This can be interpreted as a call to be mindful of the messages we are both sending and receiving in our daily lives. Are we open to the subtle signals around us, or are we too distracted by the noise of everyday life to notice them? Observing Mercury can be a gentle nudge to become more aware to listen more intently, and to speak more thoughtfully. For those interested in astrology, Mercury's position in the sky during this time might also influence its energy in your life. You might consider consulting an astrological chart to understand how Mercury's elongation interacts with your own astrological sign or house placements. This period could be seen as a time to refine your thinking, improve your communication skills, or embark on new intellectual pursuits. It's a moment to embrace change and adaptability, qualities that Mercury embodies so well. Ultimately, observing Mercury during its greatest Western elongation can be a multi-layered experience. While it's certainly a chance to marvel at a planetary event, it's also an invitation to look inward, to align with the celestial rhythms, and to consider the ways in which the cosmos reflects our inner lives. By watching Mercury rise and shine brightly against the dawn, you are participating in an ancient tradition of contemplation and connection, a tradition that bridges the gap between the observable universe 
and the unseen realms of thought and spirit. Moreover, knowing the sky's layout will help in quickly locating Mercury. Familiarize yourself with the positions of nearby stars and constellations as reference points. This preparation will make it easier to spot the planet when the moment arrives, reducing the need for extensive searching. Observing Mercury can be a rewarding experience, offering a brief but beautiful glimpse of a planet that's often overlooked, hidden in the sun's overpowering glare. So when that morning comes and you're ready to look up, make sure you've chosen your spot wisely, set your alarm early, and prepared your equipment. With the right conditions and a bit of patience, you'll witness one of the solar system's most elusive planets making its stunning appearance in the dawn sky. What makes the greatest western elongation of Mercury on September 5, 2024, so remarkable? It's all about the planet's unique positioning in the early morning sky. During this event, Mercury reaches its highest elevation above the horizon just before sunrise, providing an exceptional opportunity for sky watchers, particularly in the northern hemisphere. The planet's placement is enhanced by the steep angle of the ecliptic, the imaginary line that traces the sun's path across the sky. At this time of year, the ecliptic rises sharply relative to the horizon, causing Mercury to ascend almost vertically. This steep climb means the planet stays visible longer before the daylight overwhelms it, offering a rare and extended window for observation. For those located in the southern hemisphere, the experience will be slightly different. Mercury will appear lower in the sky, which can make spotting the planet more challenging. The lower angle of the ecliptic in these regions results in a more gradual rise, reducing the time Mercury remains visible before it fades into the morning light. However, with a clear eastern horizon and favorable weather, observers can still have the chance to see Mercury's brief but striking presence. This particular elongation is an excellent moment to observe Mercury's behavior as it moves through its orbit. The steep ecliptic in the northern hemisphere not only extends the viewing time, but also provides a clearer view, free from the usual obstructions that might hinder visibility. Whether you're in the northern or southern hemisphere, this celestial event invites you to look up and catch one of the solar system's most fleeting sights, a planet often hidden, but for a short time, standing out brightly against the morning sky. Observing Mercury during its greatest western elongation isn't just an exercise in sky watching. It's an experience that ties us to a rich history of celestial observation. For centuries, ancient astronomers were captivated by Mercury's rapid movements across the sky, seeing it as a symbol of speed and agility. In Greek mythology, the planet was associated with Hermes, the swift messenger of the gods, who moved effortlessly between the divine and mortal worlds. Similarly, in Roman culture, Mercury was named after their god of communication, commerce and travel, a fitting name for a planet that seems to race across the heavens. Mercury's swift orbit around the sun, completing a circuit in just 88 Earth days, adds to its elusive nature. Unlike the slower moving outer planets, Mercury appears to dart back and forth, its position constantly changing relative to the sun. This rapid motion made it a particularly intriguing object for early astronomers who lacked the advanced tools we have today. For them, tracking Mercury's journey across the sky was a challenge that demanded keen observation skills and a deep understanding of the celestial patterns. Throughout history, civilizations around the world have been fascinated by Mercury. The Babylonians, for instance, kept detailed records of its movements considering it an important part of their astrological charts. In ancient China, Mercury was known as Chen Xing, or the Hour Star, reflecting its unpredictable and fleeting appearances at dawn or dusk. The Maya of Central America, with their highly advanced astronomical knowledge, also tracked Mercury's cycles, incorporating its movements into their intricate calendar systems. Each culture brought its unique perspective to understanding Mercury's swift passage, interpreting its appearances and disappearances as divine messages or omens. For medieval and Renaissance astronomers in Europe, Mercury presented a unique puzzle. Unlike the easily visible planets like Venus or Mars, 
Mercury's proximity to the sun meant it was often obscured by the sun's brightness. Observers would rise before dawn or stay out late after sunset, hoping to catch a fleeting glimpse of the elusive planet. The greatest western elongation became a particularly valuable time, as it marked one of the rare opportunities to see Mercury when it was furthest from the sun's glare. With the invention of the telescope in the early 17th century, astronomers like Galileo Galilei were able to observe Mercury more closely, though they were still challenged by its proximity to the sun. Galileo's observations of Mercury, along with other planets, contributed to the growing body of evidence supporting the heliocentric model of the solar system proposed by Copernicus. This was a revolutionary idea at the time, shifting the view of the cosmos from an Earth-centered universe to one where planets, including Earth, orbited the Sun. Today, observing Mercury during its greatest Western elongation is a way to connect with this rich tradition of sky-watching. Each sighting is a continuation of humanity's long-standing fascination with the planets, a practice that has evolved from the mystical and mythological to the scientific and observational. Modern observers have the advantage of sophisticated tools, telescopes, binoculars, and even smartphone apps that pinpoint Mercury's location in the sky. But despite these advancements, the essence of the experience remains unchanged. It's about looking up, marveling at the wonders of the universe, and feeling a connection to those who gazed at the same sky thousands of years ago. Mercury's swift orbit also offers a unique lesson about the dynamics of our solar system. Its rapid movement and frequent elongations are reminders of the intricate gravitational dance that all the planets perform around the Sun. Observing Mercury isn't just a chance to see a distant world. It's an opportunity to witness a small but vital piece of the grand cosmic ballet. By catching a glimpse of Mercury during its greatest western elongation, you're not just watching a planet, you're partaking in a timeless pursuit, joining generations of sky watchers in the quest to understand our place in the universe. Spotting Mercury isn't as straightforward as catching sight of Venus or Jupiter. Because it orbits so close to the sun, Mercury is often lost in the sunlight, only becoming visible during specific times like this, when it reaches its greatest elongation. This particular event offers a rare chance to witness Mercury's fleeting brilliance before it is quickly swallowed by the brightening day. For a few moments, as the sky transitions from night to dawn, Mercury will stand out against the dark backdrop, a tiny messenger heralding the start of a new day. It's a small, often overlooked event, but for those who know where and when to look, it's a reminder of the hidden wonders of our solar system just waiting to be discovered. How do you catch a fleeting glimpse of the elusive planet, Mercury? Success starts with careful planning. To see Mercury during its greatest western elongation, you'll need a clear and open view of the eastern horizon. No tall buildings, trees or other obstructions should stand in your way. The ideal time to begin your watch is about 45 minutes before sunrise, just as the sky begins to lighten but before the sun's rays dominate. At this early hour, Mercury will appear low in the eastern sky, slightly to the south of due east. Using binoculars or a small telescope can significantly improve your viewing experience. With these tools, Mercury stands out more clearly against the brightening sky. If you're lucky enough to have a telescope, you might even glimpse Mercury in its crescent phase. This unique feature appears due to Mercury's position between Earth and the Sun, offering a rare view similar to the phases of the Moon. Observing Mercury's crescent shape is a fascinating reminder of the dynamic movements within our solar system. However, spotting Mercury isn't just about timing and equipment, it's also about location. Unlike Venus or Jupiter, which are bright and easily visible, Mercury's faint light can be easily overwhelmed by atmospheric conditions. Factors like light pollution, haze or clouds can make it difficult to spot this dim planet. That's why finding a dark sky location away from city lights is essential. The clearer and darker your viewing spot, the better your chances of success. A morning free from fog 
with minimal cloud cover and stable air, provides the best conditions for observing this elusive world. Consider the weather as well. Even a slight haze or thin layer of clouds can obscure Mercury's dim light, making it challenging to find. Keeping an eye on weather forecasts for a clear, crisp morning will improve your odds. For those living in urban areas, it might be worth taking a short trip to a rural location where the skies are darker and the air clearer. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more content about the Moon, lunar phases, and other celestial events, be sure to check out the next video on the screen. Happy stargazing!